In this video, we're going to be walking you through how to resolve the Windows Mobile Device Center from not launching after the Windows 10 Update 1703. At this point, I'm connecting the Windows Mobile Device to the computer so that it downloads and installs the drivers and Windows Mobile Device Center. Here's the actual issue. Windows Mobile Device Center launches but doesn't open fully to allow you to configure the Windows Mobile device. So in the next steps, I'm going to show you how to resolve this. As you saw, we opened up a services console and we scroll down to the two Windows Mobile Device Center services. And we're gonna go ahead and stop them and then we're gonna change the logon as to local system account and then start the services back up. we've done that let's go ahead and open up a administrative command prompt and run the following commands which will be posted down in the comments section and you can do this by copying and pasting the two commands into the command prompt At this point, I've restarted the Windows Mobile Device Center services, and I've also gone ahead and taken the device out of the cradle and then put it back in. With the device in the cradle, I'm going to go ahead and launch Windows Mobile Device Center and we should see the .NET Framework installer pop up and begin to download and install the .NET Framework. Once the .NET Framework finishes installing, we can go ahead and make things easier by restarting the computer 
or we can completely close out Windows Mobile Device Center as I'm showing you here. Now that I've completely closed Windows Mobile Device Center, I'm going to go ahead and launch it again and after we should see the Microsoft License Agreement. And that's it, Windows Mobile Device Center should be working now. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thank you.